Hi everyone, Elliot Jacobson here for Advanced Advantage Play, and I'm excited today to introduce a new spreadsheet that I just created. And this is going to be a spreadsheet that's going to help you to either beat Baccarat, if that's what you want to do with your life, or if you're in casino surveillance, it'll give you a very straightforward tool to check out whether a player is using some sort of counting system or device on their end to get an edge over the house. So let me just show you what I'm talking about here. I have just created the Baccarat Edge Calculator. Now, this is an Excel spreadsheet, like I said before, but um, it's really just a spin-off from something that I had created earlier. Let me just show you what that is. So what I had before was the um, Bakra Risk Analyzer, and you can see that right here. So I took the very first page of the Bakra Risk Analyzer that had some edge and, and a few side bets on it, and I made a whole new spreadsheet just devoted to that page, and I included several new side bets and cleaned up the layout and presentation. So let's go ahead and just look at this thing together. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on uh, the link here, Bakra Edge Calculator, and it will download the spreadsheet for you. And once you open that spreadsheet, it has um, it's going to request that you enable editing and you enable macros. And you're going to have to do both of those because the programming for this thing is in VBA. So here we go. Um, this is what it looks like once you get the thing opened. All right. So what we have here again, very straightforward spreadsheet and what we see up here is you can put in the number of decks so essentially anything that's green is something that you can edit um, if you are if you want to look at a particular configuration of cards you can just go ahead and type those things in right here um, do not now yeah, don't don't put in anything in any other cell other than a green cell you'll mess up the program you might have to download the thing again um, so we can reset the shoe just to make sure everything is fresh. And let me just go through what I have here. Along the left, I have the main game um, edges, the uh, player and banker bets with a 5% commission, the two non-commission variants, and a couple of tie wagers, depending on whether a tie pays 8 to 1 or 9 to 1. And then here are the side bets that I've included, uh, the Dragon 7, the Dragon bonus um, bet, which is new, natural eight and natural nine, which is new, and the su uh, and then I have the pair, the panda eight, the super six is a new side bet that I've included, and the tiger six. I have some instructions over here so you can read through how to use this thing. And then if you click down here below on the info tab, I give you descriptions of the side bets so you can see exactly what these side bets are. And then I have the U unlicense agreement. And essentially what that means is that I am giving this away for free. I am giving up all copyright and intellectual property interest in this product. It is yours to use or modify or do with what you want. You can even put your name on it and claim that you wrote this thing. But just, hey, I got there first, so you can come after me for copyright, all right? So anyway, that's a little legal nuance here. This is essentially freeware, completely unlicensed. If you want to do your own coding with this thing, um, you can do that as well. I have a couple of hidden tabs. If you go down to the bottom here and you right click, then you will be able to unhide some tabs. And so one of the tabs is the combinatorial analysis that you can unhide. Another tab that you can unhide is just my math for the pairs bet. So you can see those things. All right, so go ahead and um, unhide if that's what you want to do, and you can enjoy looking uh, at my code and some of the, the stuff that's going on behind. Now, let me just show you how easy this thing is to use. And um, all we do is we watch a couple hands being played, and as they're played, we're seeing cards come out. And so we're just clicking on that card, and every time a card comes out, we just click on the appropriate number, and then we have to click on Compute All to essentially update the edges after those cards have been played. And so if we have a few more cards being played, we click on those, and then we do Compute All. And um, yeah, the edges change a little bit, right? So we're still fairly early on in the shoe, and so not a lot has happened. 
If you want to go back to the start again, you always just reset the shoe. And let me just show you something interesting so you get a sense for why a couple of wagers are particularly vulnerable. So I wrote about the Dragon 7. Um, this is essentially a three-card um, winning um, banker. 7 pays 40 to 1. Um, I showed in an article that I published back in 2011, if you can believe it, 10 years ago, that this one is uh, very sensitive to the number of 8s and 9s in the shoe. The, the reason being that 8s and 9s tend to create naturals, which keep hands from having 3 cards. Um, and then this natural 8 and natural 9 here, these are um, wagers that actually date back to Ed Thorpe who wrote a paper on how to beat these things. Apparently, these were available in Tahoe in the 1960s. And so we just had a very simple card counting system to look for an abundance of eights and nines for these two wagers. You can also think of these, if you know what Bakker Insurance is, these same bets will come up in that situation. So just look at these edges, 5.4, uh, 5.09, 7.6. And let's just suppose we have um, a shoe where, say, we get eight eights and nines off the top. And uh, watch what happens to the 7.6. Watch what happens to these two numbers right here. So notice that that 7.6 already dropped to 3.4%. We have cut the house edge in half just by having a few uh, eights and nines come out, whereas these natural eights and nines that were in the 5% range are now up to 9%. You see how sensitive these things are to um, removal of these key cards. So it's kind of fascinating to watch this. By the way, you can also use this spreadsheet to develop a card counting system if you understand what the effect of removal is and how you generate systems based on, on um, the changes in the house edge as various cards are removed. All right, so now what I want to do is kind of look at the same analysis where we look at the player and banker bet 1.235, 1.058, and let's remove those same cards. One, two, three, four, and compute all. And notice what happens, that one, two, five is now one, two, zero. That banker is um, 1.08. See, very, very microscopic change in these things. So now you understand why the player banker bets are essentially unbeatable, whereas these um, certain side bets, the dragon in particular, the natural eight and nine are very beatable. So I hope you will download this spreadsheet and play around with it. I think it is a lot of fun. Now, I, of course, also want to, um, as usual, tell you to go over to Amazon.com and buy my book, Advanced Advantage Play. I have that book at $18, $18 for Advanced Advantage Play. It has um, all of these articles I wrote over a period of three and a half years that I posted to AP Heat that are now available on 888 uh, Casino blog, but um, it's still a little hard to sort of figure out where things are. If you go on the internet route, it's nice to have that solid physical book. It's almost 500 pages, $18. You cannot get a better deal anywhere for a, a book on gambling that actually shows you ways to beat the games that are legitimate. Now, um, just a word on legality, of course, if you do use this spreadsheet in a casino, um, you may find yourself in some legal trouble because this is essentially using a computer to beat the games. There are device laws everywhere um, in the casino industry, so be sure not to use this thing in a live casino. But uh, yeah, if you are in casino surveillance and you think a player might be doing something, hey, I think he has the edge when he's, he's only making the pair bet when... Uh, you know, late in the shoe, I think he's playing with an edge, go ahead and track the shoe and, and see whether he is, in fact, that player is, in fact, just making that wager with an edge. Um, and there's a lot more you can do with it, whether you're in surveillance or a player. I think this is a very fun product to try out. So, all right, everyone, that's all I have to say for today. So, wish you all well. See you later.